boys and girls, welcome to Victory Kids Online Service. We have so much planned for you today. We are going to sing to the Lord and learn from His Word with fun activities. It's going to be fun, it's going to be exciting, it's going to be awesome. So stay tuned. Right now, let's begin with an opening psalm, after which we shall sing a wonderful song of praise to the Lord. Psalms chapter 8 and verse 1, it says, Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name. In all the earth you have sent your glory in the heavens. Welcome to the service.
Father, the One, and the Spirit, and these three are one. Thank you. Well, boys and girls, that was extremely good, and we bless God for the children who've just done the memory of us. Boys and girls, we are proud of you for the good work that you have done. I mean, um, there's no single day that you've missed doing this. You've always done it exactly um, good, and we bless God for each and every one of you. Now, boys and girls at home, I just want to encourage you to uh, be memorizing verses, you know, if you can, even a chapter it want to be helping you, you know, sometimes in the future, uh, the more you have the word of God, the better for you. The moment sometimes, you know, you, you encounter something and when you encounter, you know, that situation and you needed the scripture, you, the Bible might be far from where you are. You know, it's just a matter of picking what is already in your spirit and you'll be able to win the battle. Just to encourage you, be doing that. Give yourself some good challenge of, you know, memorizing the Word of God. Boys and girls, we are glad that you have done it again. And those who are at home, I encourage you, we put our hands together and appreciate the children who have just done the memory verse for today. Well, boys and girls, it's now a while now. We've been learning um, quite a lot about the power of the Holy Spirit. This should be, I think, the third month we've been learning about the power of the Holy Spirit. I believe by now you have learned quite a lot um, regarding the power of the Holy Spirit. The number of topics that we've done, and I encourage you, you can, you can go to YouTube and, and listen and listen to the messages that we have we have done. You know, the Bible says faith comes by hearing and uh, by hearing by the word of God. The more you, um, you memorize the word of God, you know, the better for you. You become a better person. Every single moment you become a better person as you engage and interact yourself with the word of God. Well, boys and girls, it's another wonderful time. I want us today, we um, take another subtopic, and this one, boys and girls, is do not hurt the Holy Spirit. Yes, do not hurt the Holy Spirit. Now, I believe one of the series that we've done is um, rather one, some of the topics that we had done before is that uh, Holy Spirit is our friend. You remember that? Yes, Holy Spirit is our friend. And then we also say that Holy Spirit is our helper. And um, we've also done that Holy Spirit is the one that guides us, you know, the one who teaches us the word of God. You remember the time we were doing, um, you know, we were demonstrating with books here that, um, you know, the best person that knows the book is the author of, the, of that book, yeah. And we say that the Bible is done, is written by the Holy Spirit. He's the one that inspired every part of the word of God. Now, boys and girls, if um, this Holy Spirit is our friend, yeah, he is our helper, he is our guider, he's the one that reminds us, you know, the scriptures. You can imagine, this person is a good person. You know, when you've forgotten something, you can always ask the Holy Spirit to remind you, yeah? This person must be a good person. Now, being a person, boys and girls, you know what? Sometimes when we do things which do not please him, you know what happens? He is hurt. He is not pleased when we do things which are um, contrary, things which are not in line with the word of God. Yeah, he is not happy. He's, he, he has feeling just like you and myself. And boys and girls, I may not want us to get to a point that we are hurting our good friend. You remember, we say that he is our very uh, best friend. 
as a best friend, I don't want to hurt him because he is the one that guides me. He's the one that shows me uh, things to do. He, he, he's able to see things that will happen in future. So I don't want to hurt this good friend of mine. So our today's topic, boys and girls, like I said, is don't hurt the Holy Spirit because he is our friend, so let's not hurt him. Now, to help us in this, boys and girls, is a portion of scripture in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 15 uh, from verse 1 all the way to verse 11. A very interesting story in the Bible. Boys and girls, God had desired to be the king of the, the people of Israel all the days of their lives. But the children of Israel, um, they saw other people, you know, other, other nations when they go to war, you know, they have their king. Uh, they'll go with their king uh, to war. So they started desiring to, you know, uh, desiring to have a king just like some other nation, other nations of the world. But that was not the intention of God, boys and girls. So they started crying and saying, well, we want a king. You know, when we go to war, we want to see someone. We want to have someone that we can see and talk to, boys and girls. And it get got to a point, um, God decided, well, I will give these people someone who they want to call him a king. And in those days, children, there was a prophet by the name Samuel. You remember Samuel? Yeah. So Samuel um, uh, was um, sent to go and, you know, anoint um, king um, uh, someone called Saul to become the king of Israel. And that is the first king of Israel, boys and girls. And so children, you know, uh, this king, um, Saul, was given some instructions on how he was going to, to, you know, to lead the people of God, the people of Israel. And one, one of the things that he was supposed to do was to obey God, you know, to follow the commandments of God, making sure that he follows every single instruction that God gives him. Now, children, when God gives you an instruction, it's supposed to be followed exactly, you know? Uh, you, you, don't, you don't bring your own uh, understanding as in, ah, I felt like uh, God was wrong, so I felt I should do this, you know, um, the way I know it. So for King Saul, he was given instruction to follow the commandments of God. And one of the things that King Saul was told was to go to the land of the Amalek, um, the land of the Amalekites, yeah, and to go and kill every person that was there, kill every animal that was there, destroy everything that these people had. The reason was because while the children of Israel were coming from Egypt, these people didn't treat the people of Israel in a nice way, and so God was not happy about them. So he just wanted uh, these people to, to be killed, all of them, and Saul was the one who was supposed to go and do that work with his soldiers. So, boys and girls, it came a time, Saul and his soldiers, you know, uh, they went to uh, this land of the Amalekites, and when they arrived there, children know what? Um, Saul just looked at um, the people there, the king. There was a king called King Agag. Yeah, you can say King Agag. So King Agag was there, and there were so many other uh, people. Uh, th these people had some animals, you know, some are fat, some are not that fat, you know, sheep, oxen, and all these camel, donkeys. And he just looked at all the good things that were there, and he said, wow, these ones, I'm not going to destroy them. And in fact, boys and girls, can I tell you something? the king that I've told you that is called King Agag, he said, ah, even this one, I'm going to spare him. You know, he started disobeying God, and God was not happy about, about that. Yeah, he was not happy about, about that. King Agag, he decided to spare, and he looked at um, the animals which were fat. He said, ah, these ones, mm -mm, 
These ones I'll not spoil. I love to spare these ones. So boys and girls, it went on and on. He just went and killed things which are looking a bit weak, you know, things which don't have much value, you know, but the rest, you know, that looked good to him, he decided to spare them. Children, you know, he was disobeying the voice of God through a prophet Samuel because he was told, when you go there, make sure that you kill everything. And God had a reason as to why he wanted him to kill everything. Children, you know what? Uh, it came a time God told Samuel to go and see how Saul was faring. And so when he went there, he, he, he found, you know, he started hearing some, you know, some animals making some noise. And he was like, ah, Saul, I remember I told you to kill everything. What is this that I'm hearing in my ear? And Saul said, ah, I, I decided just to, to spare some animals because these ones are good and they're looking fat. And Samuel was not happy about that because Saul was not obeying the voice of God. Boys and girls, when you disobey God, God is never happy. When you disobey the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is grieved. I know that's a big word, but um, just put it in a, in a different um, uh, way. Uh, to be grieved is uh, it's, it's like to hurt someone. So, so, so he was hurting God. He was hurting the Holy Spirit. And, and Samuel asked Saul, had I told you to kill everything? And he said, um, I just decided to spare some um, so that we can, when you go to the temple, we can go and, and give this as an offering, you know, to God. Imagine that, boys and girls. He was disobeying God, and God was not happy about that story, about, about that. So, boys and girls, you know what? So Samuel was not happy about that story of how Saul had decided uh, to spare some, some Amalekites and, and, you know, some of their, uh, of their animals which are looking fat. Now, children, let me tell you something about these people of the Amalekites, you know? These people had very bad, um, you know, they, they used to worship gods, you know? Remember, God, God was the only one, even today, he's the only one that is supposed to be worshipped. But um, these Amalekites guys, they used to worship gods, you know, things. They would make a statue and they would worship. They, they, they had very weird and bad beliefs, children, you know, very bad beliefs. And one of the things, boys and girls, I can tell you, you know what? They used to offer their children as sacrifice. You can imagine your parent killing um, someone that you know, probably one of your siblings. I don't, I don't want even to imagine that. These people would kill their children and offer them as idols, you know, to, to idols, boys and girls. That was very bad. And the reason as why God wanted these Amalekites people to be swept was because he didn't want them to come later and cause God's people, you know, the children of Israel, to start behaving like them. That's why he wanted King Saul to finish all these people, their animals, you know, their children, their wives. You know, he wanted all of them to be finished. But Saul decided to spare some of them, and God was not happy about that. Can I tell you something, boys and girls? Later, later, the same, same, same people that he spared, you know, those Amalekites, boys and girls, that the same, same, same people who did what? Who killed King Saul, you know? It's very sad. It's very sad. You can imagine if you would have killed them, they wouldn't have killed him. They wouldn't have killed King Saul, boys and girls. I know you also remember the story of Esther. We must have done this before. You remember Esther? There was a time um, this commander, you know, this, this person called Haman, who wanted to finish every, every Jew that was living in that country. You know, boys and girls, that Haman who wanted to wipe out the, Jew, the, the Jewish uh, nation, you know, those days, 
this Haman was a descendant of King Agag. Remember the King Agag that he decided to spare? Mm -hmm. Many times, boys and girls, when God gives us instruction, he has something good in his mind. So it's, it's up to us to, you know, to follow his instructions to the letter. The moment you obey him and you walk according to his ways, you're going to live a very good life, boys and girls. Remember our today's topic is what? Don't hurt the Holy Spirit. There are things which sometimes, not sometimes, there are things which can, can hurt the Holy Spirit. You know, like, like I would give an example, children, like, um, you know, bad things like uh, telling, not telling the truth. Yeah, not telling the truth, children, that can, can hurt the Holy Spirit. Yeah? Sometimes, you know, gossiping, speaking evil about our friends in school, that can as well also do what? Can hurt the Holy Spirit, you know? Sometimes probably your parent can tell you to do something and, you know, deep in your heart, you, you, you know very well obeying your parent is a good thing, but you feel like, I'm, I'm tired, I don't want to, I feel like my parents are just disturbing me. Um, and I can go on and on and on and on. There are many things, children, that can hurt the Holy Spirit, as in you do them and the Holy Spirit feels very bad that you've done such a thing. Mm -hmm. And many times when, when before you even do such a thing, you know, there will be that voice of the Holy Spirit that, that is inside of you that will tell you, please don't do that. That is not right. Don't, don't walk with those children. They, um, their company is not a good company. You know, the, those things that he can always tell you not to do. Just like Saul was told to go and kill everything and he decided not to obey the voice of God, yeah, and these things that he, you know, disobeyed later came and they started fighting him, you know. It's always good, boys and girls, to learn how to, um, to, 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 to obey and to follow the voice of the Holy Spirit. From today, I know the number of things that God will be telling you. Uh, my son, you can do this. You can do this. Never try to argue with God. You know, when God gives you um, a, what, a commandment, he's giving you this commandment uh, not for you to argue with him or to start negotiating with him. He's giving you these instructions because he wants you to have a bright future. He wants you to have a good life in future. And that's why he's giving you all those instructions. So um, I pray that you will be the kind of a child that will always follow the instructions that the Holy Spirit is going to give you in your life. They're just for your own um, a good in future. From today, I want you to purpose and purpose from the very bottom of your heart that you'll obey and walk in the ways of the Lord. Children, as we come to the end of our today's lesson, I want to give you an assignment. Remember our today's um, subtopic was um, I don't hurt the Holy Spirit. I want to do this. I want you to take um, a piece of, um, it can be a piece of, a paper, of paper, or you can do some placards, you know, what are placards there? Eh? Um, I want you to go and write the, the, the bad things that you've, you've, um, you've, you've felt that you've been involved in. You know, it could be like things like anger, you know, hasira. You, you, you're always angry with people, you're angry with teacher, you're angry with mom and daddy, you know. I want you to write all those things in, in different pieces of papers. And I want you to get um, a pair of scissors. Yeah, it's just some, some little work that I'm giving you. And just like Solo was told to go and do what? To go and kill everything that pertained the Amalekites people. Yeah, I want you to go take your scissor, and if it's, for example, a lying, telling lies, I want you to take your scissor, pair of scissors, and you, you cut that, uh, you know, that piece of paper into many pieces using your a pair of scissors. Many pieces, you know? If it's like um, 
um, what, um, let me give you another example, you know, even being lazy, you know, you, you say that, no, I've been lazy. I've not been waking up and pray. You cut it into main pieces and say, ah, I'm killing you laziness. I don't want to be lazy anymore, you know. And after that, you ask the Holy Spirit to help you so that you can be a good person. Just a small demonstration of helping you to kill the things which uh, hurt the Holy Spirit in our lives. I pray and, and I desire that you live a child who always pleases God all the days of your life. And boys and girls, it's now um, that time I want us to rise on our feet so that we can worship our Lord and our God uh, together, the rest of the boys and girls who are watching uh, Tom. God bless you and thank you so, so, so very much and looking forward to see you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Wow, what a wonderful moment of worshiping our God. Children, it's always good to worship our Lord. And right now, I want to pray for those who want to give their life to Jesus. And, and I, I, want, I want to ask for those who want to give their lives to Jesus, if you can be able to stand on your feet and just raise your hand to Jesus. I want to pray for you. So I want you to repeat this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, today I've heard your word and I've decided to give my life to you. I surrender my life to you today. Remove my name from the book of destruction and write my name in the book of life. From today, I believe that Jesus died for me and he rose again because of my life. From today, I am yours forever. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Children, if you've made that prayer, you are now born again. I want you to tell your guardian, your mom, your daddy, that you've made the decision to follow Jesus Christ. That is one of the best, best decisions that you've made in your life. And secondly, let's be reminded to give a God's tithe and offering. We've been taught very well to do that. And secondly, let's be reminded to do the assignment, the homework that our teachers have put in our church website. Encourage your parent to log in into church website. Ensure that you do that activity. Those video clips, watch them. They will help you to understand the lesson that we've learned today. God bless you and thank you so, so very much.